All right, we're here at the outdoor bin. And the castings are looking really good. I just, I didn't take any castings out for the garden this time around. But just even on the surface, I'm seeing some worms. We'll dig in here pretty good because we gave them a pretty healthy, hefty feeding. And see how they've done. It actually feels a little warmer down below than it does up top. Here's one of those toilet paper rolls. They have definitely taken the food that was there and just gotten all into it. Here's a mango seed combined with, or half a mango seed, or part of a mango seed. But just a lot of castings. You can see some of the eggshell, pulverized eggshell that we put in there to help their gizzards. But, oh, on the outside, just oodles and oodles of worms. Absolutely amazing. Definitely would like to know how many are in here, but I don't know. And I've got these big worms that made their way in here. I'm not sure what, they, what kind they are, but they move fast and they are really big compared to the other red wigglers that I have in here. So we'll just kind of go through here, aerate a little, a little bit, see what else we got. More mango seed, you can see all the castings all around, just they're making quick work of whatever was around it. Definitely moister in the middle, even warmer in the middle, and then on the sides a little bit drier, but the worms definitely favor in the sides. Probably, I wonder if in during the day they favor the middle, and at night they favor the sides. It's around 7 p.m. right now. This is a peach seed that is actually starting to get worked by them. Actually, it might be a pine cone, I'm not sure. Oh wow, absolutely a ton of worms. You can even tell on this worm, it's Clotellum is a little bit more pronounced. But yeah, there are just so many worms in here. Oh, here's another one of those giant ones. Anybody knows what kind these are, I would love to, to know. In the sunlight, they have kind of like a green iridescence to them. But they seem just as happy as all the rest. If a worm can be happy. But they have pretty much eaten all the food in here. So it's been, I think, nine days since their last feeding. So they are definitely due. So I'll just kind of aerate this out. The moisture level feels good. I'll put some of this, try to remember, to put some of these bigger parts in the center of the feeding as I go here. Just kind of making space. There's that giant, giant worm. Whatever he is. He's big. All right, so I think we'll start by putting some of this stuff in here so I don't forget. And then we'll, we'll go to some of the carbon. This is just shredded cardboard right here. We'll do a handful of newspaper clippings. And then something I've been meaning to get rid of is 
all these grapes instead of individually opening each of them and, or crushing them. I was gonna try and do it with my hands, but they seem pretty resilient. So we'll just kind of hope that the worms can penetrate the skin and get in at will. But we'll kind of put the rest in there and I think I'm crushing them. But that'll be another experiment just to see how how much these go. All right, got a bunch of banana peels, some apple cores, some strawberries, some shredded pineapple, a lot more banana peels, some garden scraps from carrots and peppers, lots of moisture in here too with it. They'll be pretty happy with what we got here. All right, and then on top of that, put some of the coffee grounds. Looks like some there's some chunks, some molded chunks, but worms eat the mold. And some eggshells. And we'll cover it up and that'll about do it. So many worms in here. So many worms. And they are gonna absolutely devour this. So if you like the video, I appreciate a like. Give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more. But that will about do it for this outdoor worm bin feeding. Hope you all have a great day. Take care.